I'm saying this, but we need rain here in East Oklahoma, and the only rain we can find right now is in southwestern Kansas, and that's going to weaken before it even arrives to northeast Oklahoma. So we show you radar. There's some showers and storms southwest Missouri. One is severe. You know, in a typical June, these would travel to the southeast and then make it into northeast Oklahoma by morning. But this is not a typical June. These will weaken before reaching our area. And we're going to stick with the dry conditions pretty much the next 10 days. Unfortunately, looking at our drought monitor, the drought has now expanded to the east where we have dry conditions now officially uh, from the uh, drought folks for western uh, Pawnee, or I should say western Osage County, western Pawnee, uh, northern portion of Lincoln County. And then look at this, an ex extreme drought developing southwest of Enid. And last week's was further west. Now it's expanding east. And the trend we're heading towards Unfortunately, this is just going to continue to expand to the east with time. And unfortunately, I think by the next week or two, we could be dealing with drought conditions here in the metro region. Outside right now, this is Dave's Claremore RV Weather Camera Network. Uh, we do have a few uh, anvil clouds stretching in from the northwest. Those are some storms down southwest Kansas sending out that anvil ahead of them. And that might help create a beautiful sunset across the area if the sun can uh, set right behind those storms. Right now here in Tulsa, we're at 90 degrees. Prior at 86, Stigler coming in at 90 degrees. It's hot outside, but luckily there's pretty dry, so it doesn't feel that bad across the area. With lower humidity, it feels a little more bearable. Temperatures this evening in the mid to upper 80s by 10 o'clock. We're going to see temperatures back in the 70s. And then tonight, not as cool as this morning, but still pretty pleasant. Temperatures in the upper 60s to start your morning. Right now we're at 90 degrees. We have a southeast wind, which is very light. The humidity, that's remarkable, 27%. Normally, this time of year, we're talking about humidity, heat index values uh, climbing with humidity increasing, not this go around. We have very dry air in place, and that's really helping the uh, ground become very dry as well. Lake levels, you can see Keystone still about four feet, Ulaga five feet above normal. Most of the lakes beginning to settle finally this weekend, sunny and hot conditions with 90s for both. Saturday into Sunday. So we'll start the day tomorrow morning in the 60s. You can see a future track trying to bring some isolated pop up showers and storms in our area. But again, remind you, our air is really dry. So I don't think that's going to happen. 91 is going to be our high tomorrow afternoon. McAllister coming in 93, 93 for Saturday, 92 on Sunday. Things heat up. We're going to get close to century mark by next Thursday and Friday. We're going to be close. And uh, we'll be able to fine tune that as we get a little closer, but we could be facing our first century mark by next week. Don't forget, download the Storm Shield weather app in the App Store. We'll be back with much more.